Hi, this is Eric. I am the Grey Goat, and this is my garage, the Grey Goat Garage, and we're powered by OMBWarehouse.com. I get this question every day, every week. What size push rods do I need? And for me, I, I, I really scratch my head and say, I have no idea. Um, you need the right length push rods for your engine, not for every engine. It's just like one size fits all shoes. One size doesn't fit all. So what we want to do is we really need to cut push rods for every engine. And you're going to say, well, I can't cut push rods. If I can cut push rods, you can cut push rods. Okay. There's not a lot of magic going on with me here. So um, let's figure out how to get them cut. But let's go back to even the champion rockers. Um, I found that every time, the, the last two times I've tried to use these, I had to cut my own push rods to the correct length. I don't want the adjuster too shallow uh, at the end of the rocker. I don't want too much hanging out. I want it just right. I want it so it, it's at least centered in the rocker so I can put the adjuster nut, tighten the, the lock nut, and, and move the adjuster at the same time. I also have to make sure that I'm not going to hit the retainer and I want this tip to sweep across the center of the valve. We don't want it offset to one side or front to back. We want it right in the center of the valve through its action as it's working. So the gauge rockers, they have the adjuster on the back side. And I know that we don't read instructions, but even gauge says, uh, please position the ball into the push rod. The center of the ball should be approximately at the bottom thread in the tapped hole for the lash adjusting screw. Okay, so with a gauge rocker or the ego rockers, um, we want to make sure that you have one thread hanging out on that adjuster. If it's too far in, you'll get incorrect valve train geometry and you have the, the chance of pulling that out through the, through the rocker if you've got a lot of spring pressure. So we have to be able to do some math to figure out what length push rods we need. So we offer a tool and this is my tool. I polished it so it looks nice and shiny. Um, and that's what I use to determine proper push rod height. This little thumb screw here unscrews and you can turn this in and out to get just the right length push rods. Once you have this, the push rod length set, tighten the adjuster down and then use your calipers to measure the entire tool and then you'll come up with how long you need to make a push rod. So um, for, for the sake of video, and so you guys don't have to listen to me blabber much, um, see 5.225. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut push rods for the um, Predator Hemi, and those are 5.54 inches. We're gonna start by measuring the tip that we're gonna press in. And to get that tip measured, I need to measure from the step that's going to index into the tube to the to the tip of the ball and it's 0 0.252 inches so we're going to write that down 0 0.252 but i want to use um i'm going to cut a bush rod to a hemi length which is 5.54 so what i'm going to do now is bust out my play school calculator and do 5.554 minus 0.252 equals 5.288 inches long. So I'm going to make sure that I'm zeroed out here, and then I'm going to bring this out to 5.288. The birds are watching too. And then I'm going to use the thumb screw to lock this down. Now I'm going to come back. You can zoom in right here. Now I'm going to come back and make sure that the push rod is up against the, the tip of the push rod is up against the caliper. And then I'm going to take this knife and I'm going to make a mark right here. So now with that mark right there, now I know where to start my cutter. So 
So I'm going to get the cutter started and make sure the wheel is right on that mark. And I'm not going to go too tight right now. Now I have soft jaws in my in my vise, so we're going to use soft jaws on this, and I want this push rod as close to the vise as we can. If you have something else to hold it, then do that. Um, I, this is not my the, the best way to do it, but this is how we're going to do it today. And then I'm just going to spin it around and keep turning it. I bought this tubing cutter that we'll do tubing down to 1 8 inch OD. And this is all I use this cutter for. And I'm not using it on steel pipe or anything around the house. This is just dedicated for this. Uh, if you have a, a nice new cutter, that's great. If you don't, maybe it's time to go buy a nice new cutter. Um, it was not cheap, but I like tools. Okay. Round and round we go. I don't want to get too aggressive with this. I just want to go a little bit at a time. If you have a lathe, a lathe is the, the finest way to get this done. But I don't have a lathe and neither do you. Okay, so I've got the tip cut off. I've got the end cut off. And now I have a push rod. But one problem I have here is that you'll notice the wheel on this is a tapered wheel so it's kind of cutting that at an angle so i'm going to take a file and i'm just going to hit the top of this with a file once i've done that i've got a countersink in my drill and i'm just going to spin the countersink to get any burrs off of that Make sure it's flat, which it is now. Okay, so now I can put my tip, I can insert that into the push rod, and now I have two old lifters. Uh, obviously they're old and crusty, I wouldn't use these in an engine, but we can use them for this. So now what I'll do is I'll take the bottom end that's already been done, put it in the bottom lifter, Put another lifter on top of this and then hammer it. Go easy, don't go fast, and try and hit it as straight as you can. If you bend it, get a new push rod and start over. Now my tip's installed. Uh, you can't tell the end that I did from the end that we started at. So there's your push rod. That, that's how it gets done when you don't have a lathe and you don't have um, the exact right tools, but with some of the right tools, we can get push rods cut. So don't forget, if, if you're building a high performance engine, buy some tools, do it right. Um, it, it doesn't make sense to just throw parts in an engine and then not not have any idea is, if they're right or not. So measure for your push rods with this tool. Um, have some old lifters on hand. Now now's a great time to buy new lifters if you're building an engine and have a used cam. And get yourself a nice tubing cutter that'll cut really small tube. That a file and a countersink and. Of course my big fun hammer so that's how I cut push rods that's how I make this happen that's how I get it done I am Eric I am the gray goat and this is my garage you can reach us at help at ombwarehouse.com if you leave a message here I may not see it because I get lots of messages all day long okay thanks for watching